Call me to order. We have already pledged allegiance to the flag. Matt Davis has already had an implication, so we're going to go directly into the meeting. The meeting is going to be short tonight. First of all, I'd like to recommend that you approve the minutes from the last meeting. I'll make it. I'll say it. I'll say it. We don't have to pay bills now. Yes. I'll make a recommendation also that we pay our bills. I'll make that motion. I'll say it. Thank you. Jane, I'll pay it. Okay. Let's get the most of it here in the previous meeting. Let's get the – we need to vote on this fire truck thing. Did y'all give me permission to get a appraisal on it? I think they'd operate with me if I were to add it. Not unless it goes beyond 5,000. Yeah. Okay. That's what we're going to have. Randy Reynolds. Matt Davis, tell us about Randy. We were supposed to re-evaluate him after six months. Right. And I'm going to check on that between now and the next meeting. And I've already told him that. We – y'all want to go ahead and do that? I've had a recommendation. I've got the face right here. We brought Randy in as a new trainee. He's a grade four, which was at that time was 10-15, but after that dollar raise it went to 11-15. You could actually, instead of him being shown as a new trainee, go ahead and put him in his second year, which will give him a 50-cent raise, put him at 11-65. Yeah. I'm making that recommendation to you. What do you think about that, Mike Davis? I think that would be just fine. You're making that motion? I'm going to make that motion. I'll get a second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. So we would have to put Randy to 11-65. That would put him on his second year, but it will not become effective now until the date of his hire, right? Or is that now? We told him when we hired him we would evaluate him in six months. Okay. That would be now. Randy, you got your raise if you listen to Randy. And I appreciate it. Randy has done a good job. Scott, were you here when we talked about this cemetery thing? The private? Yes. The bill was talking about making it a private non-profit organization. Right. Mike David and I were discussing that during the break, and I think what the city needs to do now is adopt an ordinance creating the Hamilton City Cemetery Committee, appoint those members officially to that committee, give that committee the authority to collect the $250 charge, which I believe is what they had recommended, and to adopt in that ordinance the setting of the decoration date for the last Sunday in May, the no grave site selections, grave digging, or marker placements without the permission from the cemetery officers, give them that authority to control the site selection for the graves and the excess dirt being hauled by the responsibility of the grave digger as well. But that needs to be one of those immediate consideration things, you know, suspend the mass, do that, and then vote on the ordinance. Do you need to have the ordinance ready for next May then, Dan? I can do that, yes, ma'am, if you'd rather have that. Yeah. All right. Okay, Scott. Thank you. Thank you, you, for the committee working on that. On the K. Woody Mills bill from Burt Hankin, and it's a vision to take that money, I believe, and go to the government fund and go to the Bedford Park and pay on that. That's what I'll agree with, too. I'll get a motion on that. We've got 36 something in there. I'll make that motion. Second it. I'll second it. I'll make that motion. All in favor? Aye. Okay. I don't have anything else, except we're going to change the meeting now to the third Tuesday. We'll have a work session at 5, right? On the third Tuesday? Excuse me. It's meeting at 5. Yeah, it's meeting. We've had this one today. Let me probably sign in there. But let me, I'll notify you. It'll be in the paper. Yeah. We'll have one. It'll be at 5. Okay. All right. I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. Thank you.